good morning all of you my name is vinika pande and i am the student of uh, pupil teacher of rkg educational college uh, from third semester uh, today we are going to discuss about an essay about apj abdul kalam everyone knows about the uh, he is the leader he is the icon of every youth and uh, today we are going to discuss about his lifestyle his achievements his awards and everything in detail okay now let's start with this topic okay now we will discuss about an essay a essay about apj abdul kalam apj abdul kalam so first of all uh, we will see about the apj abdul kalam now we are going to discuss about an essay about apj abdul kalam so before uh, going uh, to the life history or in detail i would like to uh, show you a quote of apj abdul kalam dream is not that which you see while sleeping it is something that does not let you sleep uh, this is my favorite quote of apj abdul kalam uh because uh, he inspires uh, many youths and uh, uh, he's also an uh, my inspiration because uh, the dream he said that the dream is not that which you are seeing and sleeping but dream is uh, dream is that which cannot makes you sleep and uh, he said these uh, he said these things uh, very uh, clearly that the uh dreams are the biggest uh, thing to see and to achieve a goal so uh, let's start with the apj abdul kalam apj abdul kalam was the 11th president of india having born in a humble family apj abdul kalam sold newspaper to make ends meet uh he is a real source of inspiration for people who achieve big in spite of having born in backward areas with humble beginning apj abdul kalam is one of the best examples in the world for rags to riches stories and uh, and here and here when we say riches it means the richness of knowledge uh, when we say about the riches it means the richness of knowledge pause karo Uh, 
when uh, when we talk about the apj abdul kalam so the word is comes under us that the first of all uh, we know who uh, who is apj abdul kalam so the full name of apj abdul kalam is awal pakis zainul abdin awal pak awal paki zainul zainul abdin abdul kalam and he it, he was born into a poor tamil muslim family uh, uh, he was uh, Uh, this is the picture of his childhood of apj abdul kalam and he was born in a uh, uh, muslim tamil family in uh, in rameshwar in, in rameshwaram he was born in a muslim tamil family uh, on october 15 1931 and here uh, here i have uh, i have see you the uh, from the my cursor picture of apj abdul kalam uh, here it is also written that uh, her name uh, abdul uh, kalam and uh, his mother ashiamma was a housewife and his father jalaluddin was an imam of a local mosque and a boat owner uh, he is uh, he was uh, from very poor family and uh, uh, he was the youngest in his family with four elder brothers and a sister and he is uh, he is the elder younger he was the younger brother of his family and he is ha- he was having uh, one elder sister and one elder brother though the family was not financially uh, if, uh, affluent yet all the children were raised in atmosphere that was full of was full of love and compassion uh, they are they are not very rich from his family but the uh, but they are uh, they are they, in their family they are having love and compassion uh, in order to add to the family incomes kalam had to sell newspaper during his early years uh, be, uh, be, due, due to lack of money or financial condition is not good above of abdul kalam's family so then after uh, they they are selling the newspapers he was he was an average student during his school but possessed a strong desire to learn and was a very hard working uh, he was very matlab uh, he was very hard working student and he, his birthplace is this rameshwaram uh, he was uh, he was born in the tamil nadu rameshwaram uh, so uh, he uh, he is very good uh, he is very good. he loved to practice math he, uh, his his interesting subject is math and he is very intelligent in math and uh, he loves to uh, spend their hours in uh, solving the questions of maths and uh, he is very good in maths uh, dr apj abdul kalam was a scientist also an engineer also a professor also author also president also and a good human being as we all know that he is a well good human being life of dr apj abdul kalam as we have earlier discussed that he is born on 15th october 1931 in rameshwaram tamil nadu his father janaludin was boat owner and his mother was housewife uh, in schooling he was a very bright sincere and hard working uh, stu- uh, student and student have the got strong desire to learn and spend hour in his paths and after completing his school rameshwaram elementary school he is studying in rameshwaram elementary school he went on the graduate in physics at st joseph college but was not very interested about this so he moved to the madras in 1995 to study uh, aerospace engineering after graduating from madras institute of technology kalam joined uh, aeronautical development established of defense research and development organization as a chief scientist as an aerospace engineer he started his career by designing a small helicopter for indian armies in uh, 1969 he was moved to indian space uh, he was moved in the spa- indian space organization where he was project director and the indian satellite vehicle slv 3 as chief as a chief executive he is as uh, uh, doing work here and he play a major role in the developing missile including agni and prithvi these are the two mi- missiles he have uh, done the agni and prithvi okay he uh, he is her uh, his picture when he was in uh, missile he is also known as the missile man of india uh, uh, um, so so his picture is that in this he was become the 11th president of india on 25th july 2002 and uh, 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 he was a very good president uh, uh, 
uh, he was a, a good president in the in 2002 kalam was chosen the presidential nominee by the ruling national democratic alliance nda he was chosen by the nda for the presidency and became the 11th president of india on july 25 2002 and served the position of till july 25 2007 he was the president uh, of 11th president of india till 2002 to 2007 he also become the third president of india to have received bharat ratna before assuming the office of the president his presidency uh, as uh, earlier told you in 2000 25 july 2002 he is come the president uh, he served the presidency from 2002 to 2007 uh, and uh, becoming the first scientist and the first ambassador of occupy rashtrapati bhavan he remained committed to his vision of transforming india into a developed nation inspiring people to achieve his their best uh, he is uh, he uh, Yeah, there is a first pick of Abdul Kalam's when he was uh, 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 giving a speech as is the president of India. Here is the uh, name of awards and uh, who has given the awards to organizations name. So these awards are given to the APJ Abdul Kalam uh, given by uh, given to the APJ Abdul Kalam the uh, uh, the. First Government of India, the Padma Bhushan Government of India, Distinguished Fellow Institute of Directors, Bharat Ratna, given by Government of India, Indira Gandhi uh, Award of National Integration in 1997, India Indian National Congress, and 1998 Veer Sarvakar uh, Sarvakar Award, Government of India, 2000 Ramazan Award, uh, Awardless Research Centers, Chennai, 2007 or Honorary Doctorate of Science, University of Bolfer Harrington uh, UK and these are the awards given by to given to the APJ Abdul Kalam his personality traits. Everyone knows that the, he is the youth icon and he is also known as the missile man of India. Uh, but some traits are there in his personalities which everyone loves. Work hard. Uh, they are very desperate towards his work. He was very hard working man. and uh, his desperation is mind blowing in his work and determined positive pleasure uh, perseverance passionate for work he is very passionate in his nature because uh, about his work and he loves to do his work artistic highly spiritual loving and caring his nature is very loving and yeah, his nature was very loving and caring and the most important thing uh, that he grabs in his nature that is positive thinker he is the most positive thinker of the in, of uh, of uh, india his uh, th- his uh, thinking power is very positive some works or uh, some books he has uh, written and uh, these are the mm, his writings Uh, he has wrote all these three books that wings of fire ignited minds india 2020 a villain for the new millennium dr kalam authorized and co-authorized a number of institute instructional and inspirational books including uh, uh, inc- including um, uh, some books the uh, india 2020 a vision for the new millennium uh, a vision for the new millennium wings of fire this first one book Uh, the luminous sparks a biography of wars and colors mission of india a vision of india youth you are born to blossom ignited mind second book are yours and uh, unleashing the power uh, within uh, guiding souls inspiring and um, journey uh, through challenges and the many books he has written but the, the three major books are there interesting things about kalam he begins his day by reading from bhagavad gita he started his day from reading the bhagavad gita but either you can see that he he belongs to the tamil family the muslim family but he uh, his uh, interesting thing is that that he is reading uh, starting his day with, uh, with reading with bhagavad gita he works about 18 hours each day he works very hard he is very hard working and uh, he works 18 hours in a, a day he took uh, he plays as rudra veena he play rudra veena he is also play uh, rudra uh, veenas and um, 
uh, he took leaves from work just twice when his parents died uh, he has taken uh, leave only twice uh, uh, in his career that when his parents uh, dies uh, uh, he is self confused ram bhakt he he is he is very self confused ram bhakt and um, he never accepted any gifts from anyone except books uh, he never accepted the gifts from anyone uh, only he accepted the uh, books from anyone his love for technology is no secret and he kept an eye on all the latest development primarily through radio uh, everyone know that the uh, that he is very interested in technology and he is also a, a scientist so everyone knows that his interest in technology he was a vegetarian and was always happy with what he was served uh, he uh, he always uh, received the food very peacefully in very peaceful manner and he is very vegetarian for a man who spent approximately 5 decades in public service that included one since as the president kalam owned precious little uh, he owned he owned no property he has no property his own his achievements uh, uh, his uh, achievements are there some achievement other gandhram he was a first uh, he is a first scientist and bachelor of chair the position of president holding largest democracy he is also known as the missile man of india uh, at kalam was honored with the prestigious bharat ratna award or uh, padma bhushan and padma bhushan from the government of india as i earlier told you that the achievement is also this uh, he received the padma bhushan and bharat ratna and padma vibhushan award uh, from the government of india he was bestowed upon the indira gandhi award for national integration by the government of india in 1997 he was the uh, recipient of veer savarkar award and the many awards he has uh, gained in 2003 and 2006 he was nominated as the mtv e youth icon of the year in 2003 and 2006 he was awarded nominated as the youth icon of the year Uh, this uh, is a picture which uh, where he's uh, taken the award from okay major missiles uh, the, his major missiles was that the project uh, the uh, the project was scheduled to be completed in frame of 10 year and consisted of that the nagen anti tank guide uh, guided missile prithvi a surface to surface battlefield missile akash a, mis- a medium range surface of air missile agni tishul these are the some major missiles of apj abdul kalam these are the pictures of the of the missile of apj abdul kalam and uh, they have created their uh, uh, missile uh, they have uh, also uh, contributed in his missile Death. He remained active till the very end while delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, Ceylon. On 27 July 2015, he collapsed and was rushed to the Bithanki Hospital. He uses to. Uh, he uses to. Uh, uh, she long and he was confirmed death of a cardiac arrest at 7:45 his body was then flown first to delhi then to madurai and finally to rameshwaram where he was laid to rest at pei kurumbu ground with the full state honor of 30 july 2015 his last rites were attended by over 3 th- 3 lakhs to 50000 including the prime minister and the chief minister of karnataka kerala and andhra pradesh and uh, uh, his uh, death is very uh, painful for everyone when he was passed away the, everyone is getting in very painful manner kalam went to the iim ceylon to deliver a lecture he was uh, delivering a lecture to the institute of management of ceylon in 27 july 19 2015 and while climbing a flight of stairs he expressed some discomfort and while climbing the flight of stairs he was feeling that very uncomfortable and he expressed some discomfort but made his way to the auditorium uh, only 5 minutes into the lecture around 6:30 35 pm ist he collapsed in the lecture hall he was taken to the bethy hospital in the critical condition he was kept in the intensive care unit but lack sign of life at the 7:45 pm ist he was declared due to the cardiac arrest uh, arrest uh, he was uh, 
due to the cardiac arrest at uh, 7:45 pm he declared uh, the doctor declared him as uh, dead and uh, he was uh, uh, kalam body was uh, air lifted uh, in an indian air force helicopter and the flown to the new delhi on july 28 numerous uh, dignities and the masses paid homage at the him at residence of 10 rajaji mark kalam's uh, body was uh, kept there uh, there is a message from the, from the kalams to everyone uh, the, the uh, he has given many messages uh, to us to the youth uh, in this uh, we have short list of one message in short no words define such as a great personality but we can say he is an inspiration to all uh, i would also like to say that we cannot describe uh, dr kalam in uh, in a short word or in a short sentence but he is an inspiration to all hard works be talent his motto don't think you are alone the, the the whole universe and millions of stars are with you don't think that you are alone the whole universe and the millions of stars are with you as the thinker as a positive thinker kalam said this message and one more message is this the success is when your signature changes to the autograph is the famous quote of abdul kalam when uh, when the, then only you get success when your signature converts into the autograph when your signature is signature that it doesn't mean you are successful only when you are successful when your signature converts into the autograph is the best quote of dr apj abdul kalam and is the inspirational quote for the youth icons thank you